Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am trying to do these text videos full screen when people haven't requested my uh, facial responses because I feel like doing this in what I call the radio format is just more interesting. Getting to read the text on the screen and Medieval Man 26 is starting this video off with a titanic opening. Literally. A Titan crystal, which I actually did really, really well with this last time. I got Werewolf by Night, and he is incredible, and that is a troll of that champion. But Lady D, who is also one of my favorite champions, is so amazing. Uh, and then he has bonus banquet crystals? Okay. Okie dokie. This is quite fun. Man. This is like going back in time, you know? So, I don't really miss these because when you're blessed enough to have access to Daily Valiant Crystals, they're better than a lot of the outcomes of these $10 gifted crystals or banquet crystals whatever we want to call them but they're still really fun to watch somebody else open when you're not having to buy them yourself that's part of the fun of crystal opening commentary submissions you, you kind of get to vicariously live through somebody for a few minutes and so we shall see like that's awesome that's super rare that's a six percent drop rate in a daily valiant you don't get a six-star Nexus, but you do get a free six-star. I still think the six-star Nexus should be much more common. Did not get a generic uh, six-star Awakening Gem for mine, but also don't feel like I needed it because I have double digits of those still right now. Okay. And the five-star rare champion selector is cool, but the six-star or obviously... A seven-star trophy champ, though, wasn't a selector just yet because they're not wanting to bust out all their big guns in one year. That's probably going to be for next year. That's an end of 2024 crystal. Okay. Still hunting Aegon. And, ooh, you can awaken thighs or you can awaken blade. No Aegon. By the way, I can't tell you how many people have told me that they still don't have Aegon, and that he is somebody that will not appear in these crystals. Maybe this will be one of the blades back again. I seriously feel like Aegon's drop rates in those are way less. It's just what the data suggests. All right. Thank you, data. All right. Gifted Guardians crystal. So many seven stars. And a warlock. Professor X. Ah, that's so good. I love that. Little wink to the camera, little nod. Also, my man, Medieval Man 26, thank you for your editing so we're not doing five minutes between crystals. And Black Cat. That's a really good pull. If I didn't get Storm this past time, I wanted Black Cat or I wanted to awaken my void. Also, we're looking at hundreds of dollars of these banquet crystals every time he loads 10 into the frame. All right, six stones, tier five class catalysts. I just look at most of these 10 tier two alpha, tier five basic. The ISO is good. Another generic? Is that a second, a separate one? And then rank of materials, obviously. So the seven star shards in these was just beyond pathetic. Again, the daily Valiant, you go from 750 seven star shards to 5,000. And one was $10 and one is free. And I know it's a Valiant title, but that's such a crazy thing. All right, two more. Uh, Shocker is way better in my book than Moon Dragon, even though some people say that Moon Dragon doesn't get enough love. One of those people. Is not me. And Adam Warlock. Ooh, look you. With Mr. Salt Bay. I have him on Awaken. Some people say he should be taken to rank two on Awaken. I have not done that yet. 
He's got one new, though, here. What's that going to be? I uh, don't see him. Yeah, it was like a seven-star border. <laughs> oh, that's so good. You thought you got the seven-star, you got the four-star. Oh, but what a great opportunity to use that GIF. Heck yeah. And then <laughs> you awaken the four-star you just got. It's kind of hilarious. Come on already, Aegon. Get in my Rasta. He's popping it this time. Team Pop? Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Oh. That is so painful. I'm sorry, Panda. I'm sorry, Sad Panda. I don't blame you. And then he edited together after those openings. Ooh, we got the rare six star. His banquet rewards. I mean, this is a cool video because he got the banquet crystals, which led to his banquet rewards, which led to a combination of openings. We'll see if he has another Titan crystal. Okay, there is a six-star nexus. Oh, a lot of really important pulls so far in these. Nice awakening of Cassie Lane. And Hulk is new? Yes. That is fantastic. Finally. Gave up hope on Aegon. Popped one final skill slash mutant and oh, ho, 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 ho. the dual class crystals actually actually worked they never work he even has the skill rank up jim he's been saving and now he goes to the ascension and he ate all of his iso like literally all the iso wow look at that Definitely doesn't use full recoil masteries like I do. This was a really amazing video. Normally, I either get one or the other submitted to the channel. I either get the banquet crystals, which lead eventually to the banquet rewards, which is the separate video, or just the banquet placement rewards, which, hey, I am thankful for any video that you all submit because I uh, only can commentate what's submitted. And this is one of those things that... I don't know what I'm going to get until the submission comes in. And so I've, I've done this every day for six years. It's still a lot of fun. I always say that whoever submits the video, I just want to make their day better. I want to make them thankful they recorded the video and they submit it to the channel. Everything else after that is a bonus. So Medieval Man 26 thank you for entrusting me to commentate your video. Uh, the Hulk, the Aegon, 7-star luck, pretty good with the Gifted Guardians crystal. Sorry you didn't get a new 7-star and had to settle for a 4-star. That was kind of hilarious. But otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching.